I'm gonna give you two drills to help your speed and acceleration, and we're gonna start right now. So after we give you those key concepts behind what helps with speed, we're gonna give you two specific drills that you can take today, go out to the park, go out to the hill, and start hammering with these two specific drills. So these are the key concepts that everyone needs to know to learn how to be fast, to learn how to accelerate. That first key concept, and this is relatable to running backs, to offensive linemen, to field hockey, to lacrosse, to baseball players coming out of the box. And that first concept is that you have to learn how to push with a steep shin angle. This is a big factor here, is that if we learn how to apply a lot of force with that steep shin angle, now that's gonna help project our body forward at a high rate. So if we could take short stops, there's a quick you know, ground ball hit over here, Typically what you'll see a shortstop do who is elite is they'll actually change their shin angle here. They might take a false step, put that shin angle here and then lead with their chest. So during acceleration, what actually happens is the chest comes forward and that force is being applied behind the center of mass. Okay, so this is the exact same if we're a tennis player. So think about Djokovic. If he sees something happening, he actually tends to plant here, change his shin angle, to make it steeper and he puts his torso forward so that he can cover ground very rapidly. So when the shin angle changes, torso changes, now that acceleration comes into play because he's planting behind his body. This is a little different from max mechanics. Maximal mechanics will have someone plant underneath their center of mass or just slightly in front, about 20 centimeters in front of their center of mass. It's not gonna be as steep as when we're planting behind. So if you think about acceleration, plant behind, torso lean forward, max mechanics at top end speed, we're gonna be a little bit more upright, obviously more upright, and we're planting slightly in front of that center of mass. Even just doing simple drills where you think about planting behind, okay, here, plant, boom, and you just drive forward. It's a little, little bit of an acceleration drill. Plant, and we want the heel up, come forward. So we want that plantar flexion, boom, boom. This is a great warm up to try and feel driving forward, getting that torso to lean forward. And then what we can also do, and this is where the big drills come into play, is deceleration, okay? So if we think about a drop launch here, drop, drive back up, okay? I want this planting out in front of my center of mass, and even in front of my knee, I can ground and come back up. So when we master deceleration, that's also going to improve our acceleration, and then when we get onto the field of play, we're gonna be able to cut a little bit quicker, we're gonna be a little bit twitchier, and we're gonna be more explosive out of those cuts. Dude, so this information's great, but what the f are the speed drills? So the first speed drill, I think came from the old 70s, 80s block of training, sort of the meathead block of training, okay? And what this is, is you're gonna run 10 meters as quickly as possible. So we run 10 yards, then we have 10 yards to decelerate, and then you rest about 20 to 30 seconds and you do that again. So this is the first drill here. We're gonna rest about 20 seconds. And what we're gonna do is we have a 120 second clock. So we're resting about 20 seconds. Then we're gonna go as hard as we can. It didn't, maybe it didn't look that hard for the first 10, but we're gonna go as hard as we can for that first 10 here. Then we decelerate on that second 10, rest 20 seconds, and our time slot is a full 120 second time slot. The big things here technique wise is we wanna feel that forward lean, okay? And if we do this enough, we can get to the point where we actually can count our steps and we're gonna know how many steps we're taking to accelerate, how many steps we're taking to decelerate. And then as you fatigue, you might start to be aware, hey, I'm taking one extra step here. And the goal would be that you can hold that technique, you can hold that positive shin angle, you can hold the torso in a good position, that even when you are fatigued, think about late in the third, early in the fourth quarter, when you start to get tired, you don't diminish with your sprinting technique. So that's a really key concept here. And then it goes into that deceleration. How quickly can you decelerate? How many steps or how few steps can you decelerate and can you feel your quads helping to slow things down? Can you feel that front foot getting out in front of that center of mass? Those are some really key concepts. So it's 
10 yard sprint or 10 meters sprint as hard as you can. 10 meters slow down as quickly as possible. Rest 10 to 20 seconds. Do that again, and you're doing that in a two minute time frame. Ideally, you would do this three to five times, and you can build up to the point where you're doing 10 sets of this, and that's gonna really help you get in shape and get faster. And if you wanna keep going hard and improve your speed, make sure that you check out today's video sponsor, Element. Element's a tasty electrolyte drink with no added sugar. It's got everything that you need without that extra sweetness. I've used Element well before they even approached us as being a sponsor. One of those things that I do is I sweat a lot. When we sweat, we expel a ton of salt and we need that salt to help with power output. In this Pennsylvania heat, you sweat quite a bit and that's exactly why I've always endorsed using Element to optimize my workouts. Right now, Element is offering all of you freaks a free sample pack with any order off of their website. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all the eight flavors or share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinklmnt.com slash garage strength at the link below. Now that we got you fueled for your next speed workout, it's time to leave people in the dust. So this is a cooler version, a bit longer, but more advanced. So that second version, you're gonna find the crest of a hill where you can sprint about 15 to 20 meters. And ideally what you're gonna do is you're gonna set a three to four minute timer and you're gonna sprint 15 to 20 meters over the crest and then you're gonna slow down for about 15 to 20 meters. So during that four minute time frame, you're gonna try and do this as quickly as you can. Sprint 15 to 20 meters, slow down for 15 to 20 meters. You're on a hill, so your knee angle, your shin angle is gonna change. This is gonna help with acceleration. This is actually what I did when I trained to go in and play arena football back in like 2008, 2009. This was the exact hill that I worked on. And so when you do this, as you get through your rep schemes and as you get through your weeks and you make progress in your periodization, ideally what ends up happening is that each week you can add about a set of 10. So let's add in another three to four minute time frame. Let's try and get 10 of these in that three to four minute time frame. Then we rest for about four minutes. That's gonna be one of the best ways that you can increase your speed. This is the hill that got me to run a four seven three when i weighed 265 but i wasn't that good at football that was my big problem we can use this steeper side and so this is like an eight to nine percent grade it's extremely steep on this side of the hill and this is our high school football hill this is where we did all of our training with my dad with my brother growing up but what we can do here is that this is the side that's really going to be hammering acceleration okay so again we're going 15 to 20 meters and then we're going to slow down for about 10 to 15 meters on the other side So we slow down here, make sure my pants don't fall down. We get to the other side, okay? And now I'm on this side. We have to switch sides for traffic. We go get set and we go right away. This side's a little bit more traditional speed. And then as we get to the steeper side, what I always liked was on the steeper side, I'm a little out of breath, you have to decelerate here, right? So that front foot gets out in front of you and you start to get behind that front foot to decelerate. And that's gonna be very similar to when you're planting and getting out of cut. Think about Tyreek Hill. Sometimes he cuts with that false step, but he likely has that front foot out pretty far in front of him. He plants, has his false step and cuts. That's why I love this hill for acceleration on the one side. And when you come back, deceleration. So we went over all the keys behind sprinting mechanics and what you need to run faster. We gave you that flat 10 by 10 that's gonna help you with your speed and deceleration. And then we went over the hill version where we're gonna run 15 to 20 meters, slow down over 15 to 20 meters, find a steeper side if you need to improve your deceleration. And also you can use that steeper side to improve your acceleration. And if you need help, you can click on the link down below in our bio. You can pick up our how to get faster speed training program. It's gonna help you in the weight room and out on the field to help with that overall speed. And if you want more content, make sure you follow us on TikTok and Instagram. Because remember, if you guys wanna be freaks, you've always gotta cultivate your power. Peace.